For this topic, we are going to start with an external file on an old map passed to us in relation to the previous status of the quarry. We first had to convert it from ED50 to ETRS89 using the TCP MDT coordinate systems module. The MDT coordinate systems convert drawing option enables us to establish a source coordinate system with an ED50 time zone 30 and an ETRS89 time zone 30 destination file, the official system in force at the current time. All we need to do is select the elements to be converted, which in this case would be complete or even by layers, and we will accept in order to convert the entire sketch. Well, once this sketch has been converted into the official coordinate system, we will need to create a digital model in order to obtain the volumes measured up to this date. The problem we have is that some of the elements visible feature zero height, and we will see how to deal with this in due course. We can also see there are break lines with zero height and others with a height, in addition to topographic points, which are not MDT points, just a point and a text and we need to store or convert them in some way to MDT points in order to calculate the digital model. First, we are going to deactivate the elements that we are unable to work with. And then, how can we convert these texts and blocks or symbols into MDT points? To do this, we use the MDT points convert drawing objects command. The first step involves the left side part, which we need to define as representing the point of these entities. If we do not know this, we can designate it on the screen and MDT will deal with recognizing what type of entity it is to be. We click and in this case, we are dealing with a circle in the layer O's. We can also define an additional feature, such as the heights in this case. As we do not know what layer the texts are in, we can designate them graphically. We accept and then use the lower options in the window to draw the points and check the repetitions. We accept and automatically see how MDT has converted these entities into MDT topographic points. We now go to the MDT points change change format command to clarify the display somewhat or to make it a little prettier for our work. We load the point, two decimals in height and the height texts and then accept.